All right, I'm going to work on soldering the, the cables from RepRap Discount to the separate motors. So I've already put a few small pieces of shrink wrap on the uh, long cable, and this is just going to be my first cut at this. I'll come back later and I'll resize it and cut them all to length, but I just want to get it all cleanly put together for the moment so I can continue testing it. Okay, I'm wiring up the Z-axis separate motors now. I've decided to wire mine in series. I know a lot of people do them in parallel, and I may rethink this later, but I'm going to wire them in series. So what this means is I'm going to take the blue wire from this side and wire it to the red wire on that side. Let's side of that decision in place real quick. Okay, blue wire to red. Piece of heat shrink here, put that on before you solder the wires. Now, um, the other pair that I have are the green and black, so I'm going to take the, and this is totally arbitrary, it really doesn't matter. So I'm going to take the green one from this side, and I'm going to go to the black one from this side. So let's get this heat shrink and put it on. So, again, I did blue to red. From the green to black. So I've got green to black now. Okay, at least four wires disconnected. So now that I have the red from this side, I'll take the red from here and I'll feed it to my. Okay, I found the cable. Now, like I said, I soldered my blue to my red. So I'm going to take the red from my uh, RepRap discount cables and attach it to the red. I'll put a piece of heat shrink on first. To the red from this side. Now the blue from that same circuit will go to this motor over here. All right, now the next circuit is green from this side, black from this side. So we will take the black on the red rep discount cable, put a piece of heat shrink on, connect to the black from this side. Got black to black. That leaves green to green. Put the heat shrink on first. And that completes it. It looks a little bit like a Y, but you can see there's a triangle in the middle. So I have two wires going to this motor, two coming to this motor, and two going back to the controller board.
Okay, I've made my uh, end stop cable so that I have a female to female cable on each end. I'm gonna, before I put it all back together, I'm going to take the board apart. I'm going to take the stepper drivers off of the ramps board. Okay, extruder one, extruder zero. And make sure you note which way these go, okay? Because if you put them on backwards, you will burn them out. Right, and I'm doing this because I want to see how many jumpers are in place so I know if we're, what, what stepping ratio we have. We can do uh, micro stepping. So we'll do uh, one pulse equals one step, one pulse equals a half step, a quarter step, um, an eighth step or a sixteenth step, depending on which jumpers are in place. And all three are in place. I believe that means we're doing sixteenth micro stepping, but I'm going to double check that with the firmware um, upstairs. I'm going to check each of the boards. Be very careful. These fragile little boards. So. Okay, I'm gonna leave the last two on. Looks like the jumpers are in place on all of them. Um, at this time, I'm gonna put just the X, Y, and Z back in. I do not have an extruder yet, so I'm not going to populate the extruder. It does not hurt to run the ramp without these in place. And I can't imagine how it could hurt to run with no stepper motors connected, but I've read that when you use 24 volt supplies, it's possible. So I'm not going to take any chances. I'm going to leave the three extruders, I'm sorry, the three uh, XYZ axes alone. I'm going to leave the other two unpopulated. Uh, all right, so let's start plugging the cables in. I'll take the first uh, cable that I made. It's going to be an end stop, and let's see. So the X end stops come first. Now, very important to get the, the orientation right. So you've got red is positive, black is ground, and blue is signal. So red goes in, and the signal goes out to the edge of the board. Okay, that's the first one. Okay, your second one. Maybe it's the Y axis.